Hi everyone, I'm Simon with GuardLine. Today we're going to talk about pairing multiple sensors to one receiver. This is very common and a great way to get front of the house, back of the house, garage, driveway. Lots of different things to cover, lots of different ways to use your sensors. I have two sensors paired to one receiver. There's a right way to do this and we're going to show you how to do it now. When we're pairing multiple sensors, there's a couple things we want to do. We want to keep things separate and understand what zone one sensor is going to be and what the zone two sensor is going to be. So I labeled them, zone one, zone two. I even went ahead and I know that I want this zone one melody to play the ding dong melody. Ding dong. So I wrote that down. That's just for me to keep track of things. The next thing I want to do is I want to turn my sensors face down. If my sensors face down, they're not going to go off. I'm not going to be setting them off. So I'm going to turn my receiver on and I'm ready to pair up my zone one sensor. I'm going to go ahead and press the learn button. And then when my zone one starts to flash, that's telling me this receiver is ready to receive a signal from any sensor. If I were to pick up zone two sensor, it would send it to zone one because it's not paired to anything yet. I know I want the ding dong melody. So I'm going to find that melody. There's the melody. Now I'm going to pick up my sensor. I hear the beep, which tells me that this sensor has now been paired to that zone. I'll go ahead and turn it off and we'll turn it back on just to show you that it's paired. Ding dong. Okay. So this sensor is paired. I'm done with that. I'm going to go back into learn mode. Press and hold the learn button for three seconds. Zone one starts to flash. I'm then going to press the learn button again, which becomes next and my zone two starts to flash. With zone two flashing, I'm just going to go ahead and activate the sensor and it's paired. I'll turn it off and I'll show you. We just chose the first melody on the line there. So we have that one. Now I have zone one on zone one and zone two on zone two. That's the correct way to pair these two sensors to one receiver. The most common error when pairing two sensors to one receiver is accidentally pairing the second sensor to that first zone. We'll show you that error now. If I can't pair my second sensor to zone two, it's probably because I've already paired it to zone one. This is very, very common. What happens is while I paired zone one with this sensor, I accidentally activated my second sensor and that set it up on zone one. I'll show you how that could happen. Let's say I've just paired up my first sensor. I'm going to go in with my receiver on. I'm going to turn on, here's learn mode, and I'm going to go to the zone two and I'm going to activate this sensor. And I see that zone two flashed, so I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. Here we go, let's test it out. Zone one. I know that this sensor is paired to zone one. I don't want it paired to zone one. What do I do? I need to reset this zone to unpair this sensor. Unfortunately, it means I'm going to unpair this sensor also. To do that, I'll turn off my receiver and turn these face down. When they're face down, I know that they're not going off. I'll then turn on my receiver. I'll enter learn mode. Zone one is flashing. I'll press and hold the reset button. I hear the beep. I turn off my receiver. And when I turn it back on, there's a light, no response. Here's a light, no response. I have now cleared this zone and completely reset my system. I'm now ready to start over and pair these two sensors correctly. We just went through the steps to pair two sensors to one receiver and have the sensors be on different zones. We also talked about how to change the melody for a sensor that's already been paired. We then went through a common troubleshooting error, which is why won't the second sensor pair to a different zone? Double check and make sure, did that sensor get paired to the first zone while you were doing the pairing? This is very common. We talked about how to reset that zone so that the whole system can be then repaired. You cannot pair a sensor to a zone if it's already paired to a different zone. We hope these videos are informative to you. We like to hear from you in the comments. If you have any other questions about setting up two sensors to one receiver, please give us a call or visit our troubleshooting guides online. I'm Simon with GuardLine. Thank you for watching.